Welcome back to the American Dream. I want to introduce my next two guests. We have Laura Harbison, broker, owner, realty executive, Southern Nevada Properties, on the show with us today, and she's brought along a very special guest, Kirsten Hubbs, attorney specializing in real estate and estate planning with Essential Legal Services. Ladies, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having us. It's a pleasure to be here. Oh, the pleasure is all ours. Laura, I want to start with you. What advice would you like to give potential home buyers to consider from a legal perspective prior to closing on their home? Well, one of the questions that I see most often look overlooked by potential buyers is how they're going to take title to their property. How they vest their property is extremely important. It does have legal implications. It can have tax consequences, other legal and uh, financial consequences, and people don't realize how important it is or how many choices that they have. So it's important that early in the process, uh, they look into what their options are, uh, possibly you know, talk to their estate planning attorney about that, and look and see what's gonna be best for their personal situation, their business situation, their family situation, and make sure that they make the right choice on that. So, Kirsten, what can a homeowner do if they determine that they do, in fact, need to change how they are holding title, and can it actually be done? Yes, in most cases it can be done, and the first step would actually be to go um, meet with your counsel, have them review the deed that is, uh, was last recorded on the property, um, speak with your counsel about what your intentions are and what your objectives are, and then counsel will review if there's any other um, implications such as a deed of trust that's recorded or a title insurance policy that should be accurately reviewed to see if any of the recordings might breach those terms of those arrangements. It's and, then, and then it's simply just drafting the deed and recording in the county in which the property is located. You will be paying a small recording fee and then potentially some real property transfer tax if you don't qualify for an exemption. Right. Isn't it important if they've taken title to a property and maybe later down the road, maybe their situation's changed, they might want to look in what, into whether or not they need to even make a change, even if it was correct at the time they purchased the property. Right. There are changes in life. Our, our states hopefully, hopefully grow. We have family and our intentions change over time, so it's certainly good to keep an eye on that. So should everyone homestead their home? And what are the rules for that? And how is it advantageous for them? Yeah. I personally think that everyone should homestead their owner-occupied residence. Uh, it's protection that's offered in the state of Nevada that other than the recording fee, it doesn't cost you anything and it can only help protect you. Um, Kirsten, what are the legal protections on that? Well, in, in Nevada, um, we can, through homesteading um, and recording that homestead, protect up to $550,000 in equity and the value of your home from general uh, creditor claims, uh, such as uh, medical claims or utilizing it through a bankruptcy proceeding, um, credit card claims, any type of judicial judgment you might have against you. There are some exemptions to that, for instance, mechanic liens, arrearages owed to spouses or, or for child support. Um, are exempted and will not be covered through that, um, through the homestead protection. Well, you ladies have given us some fantastic legal advice today, and I do want to switch gears, though, for just a moment, and Laura, give you the opportunity to talk about this gorgeous listing you have, a 4,000 square foot custom home. Yes, the address is 421 Trenier Drive. It's in Henderson, Nevada. Gorgeous one-story custom home on over an acre, very modern design, uh, has quartz counters, stainless steel appliances, four bedrooms, plus an office, plus a theater, and it is just absolutely gorgeous. No expense spared. It was every single, um, everything you can imagine you'd ever want in your custom home is in this home. Yes, there is no detail was left out. This home is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much, Laura, for highlighting it. And ladies, thank you so much for being on the American Dream today. Wonderful, wonderful time. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And we'll be right back with more of the show.